This is Rummy's Corner. Rummy's Coming up on May 7 in Japan, former undisputed world bantamweight champion in no way now you will challenge the unified WBO WBC junior bantamweight champion Stephen Fulton. This one is a spectacular matchup, and both boxers deserve tremendous credit for making it happen. With the monster challenging for the unified championship in his first bout at 122, and cool boy Steph traveling to Japan in his opponent's home country. There is a lot to be excited about for this championship bout between two prime undefeated prize fighters, and this one could potentially become a fight of the year caliber contest. The monster will have recently turned 30 years old by the time the fight happens, and in no way is already a three-division world champion, winning titles at junior flyweight, junior bantamweight, and bantamweight. Last December, Inoue became the first undisputed world bantamweight champion during the modern four-belt era. Inoue was likewise the first undisputed world bantamweight champion since way back in the two-belt era nearly 50 years ago. That journey began when Inoue made his Bantamweight debut in May 2018, where he competed for four and a half years, compiling a perfect 9-0 record with eight of those nine wins coming by way of knockout. Inoue earned the Bantamweight alphabet belts one by one to obtain undisputed supremacy, marking him as one of the greatest Bantamweights this century, perhaps the greatest, and certainly the most accomplished. Cool Boy Steph is 28 years old, and he is the unified champion who has been on an outstanding run in recent years where he really appears to be coming into his own. In January 2021, Fulton beat Angelo Leo by 12-round unanimous decision to win the WBO Junior Featherweight belt. Then in November 2021, Fulton had a grueling encounter in a unification bout against Brandon Figueroa, where Fulton won a 12-round majority decision to capture the WBC belt. Most recently, last June, Fulton defended his unified championship when he won a 12-round unanimous decision against Daniel Roman. And here we are, who will win the big junior featherweight showdown between cool boy Steph and the monster. I think interpreting this matchup largely boils down to the three S's, size, skills, and styles. Size. This will be the first fight Inoue has had north of 118, and this is, at least on paper, an advantage for the champion. I remember when Inoue first made the jump to Bantamweight, thinking he looked very small at 118, and I wondered if that might not be his ceiling in terms of how many divisions he could eventually climb. But as it turned out, Inoue filled in the weight very nicely during his time there. And even when he did debut there looking smallish in my opinion, it didn't ultimately matter because his power clearly carried up. And that is one of the big questions here. How will Inoue's power carry up to 122, and how will he stand up to quick powerful punches from a naturally bigger boxer? Skills. Both boxers are highly skilled with incredible athleticism. They both have superb speed, brilliant timing, and a supreme understanding of range. Cool Boy and the Monster both have ample variety on offense. They are both outstanding body punchers, and each man is defensively responsible enough with proven durability when it comes to withstanding big punches and or prolonged accumulative punishment. Inoue has two-handed power upstairs and down, and he is very clever at finding ways to create favorable angles to unload that ferocious power. Fulton possesses very good all-around movement, where he tends to be more of a boxer who generally works behind a nice jab. Both boxers are capable of throwing fast, accurate combinations. Styles. This one represents an utterly fascinating clash of styles, where each boxer has a particular set of skills and attributes that complement their respective strengths. But their styles are of a contrasting variety, where each has a very different approach, with Inoue being more methodical and subtle with his approach, whereas Fulton has more of a reactionary and adaptive approach, 
that generally includes flashier movement, general all-around slickness, and versatility. In short, Inoue is a boxer with a powerhouse offense who is looking to overpower his opponent through brute force, whereas Fulton is more of an all-around boxer who is looking to outmaneuver his opponent. But at the same time, Inoue has incredible boxing skills in his own right, and while not a huge puncher, Fulton has enough pop to earn the respect of an opponent. How this clash of styles will actually play out is a tough one to gauge with any certainty, but I think one of the big keys is the battle of footwork. Both of them have excellent footwork, and it stems back to Inoue looking to overpower opponents and Fulton looking to outmaneuver them, and each boxer's footwork plays to that endgame. Fulton is flashier with his more pronounced footwork, where he has a jazzy edge to his footwork that works in conjunction with his head and upper body movement. Inoue's footwork is more nuanced and subtle and economical, but it is very effective and helps him create the type of angles where he can deliver his power with menacing force and accuracy. Whoever's footwork is more effective on fight night will undoubtedly have a big advantage. Winning that battle of footwork will have a profound impact on the bigger war inside the ring. If Fulton can stay off the ropes and keep things near center ring and away from the edges, then he may be able to seize a tactical advantage where he will have a better chance at effectively neutralizing the potent offense of the monster. But if Inoue's more subtle footwork allows him to consistently dictate the fighting range on or very near the ropes in the corners, this could provide a big edge for Inoue. Although again, this isn't to say that Inoue is ineffective at center ring, nor is it to say that Fulton is ineffective off the ropes. Neither is true. And that is where heart, determination, and a sheer will to win comes into play. And again, at least in my opinion, both champions possess these attributes in great abundance. The prime examples are Inoue's first bout against Nonito Donaire, and then the fight between Fulton and Figueroa. In each example, Inoue and Fulton both had to dig deep. Inoue was unable to simply overpower Donaire the way he was able to with so many previous foes. And Fulton had great difficulty outmaneuvering Figueroa, whose constant pressure was creating a lot of problems for Fulton. Inoue and Fulton both proved to have a big heart against Donaire and Figueroa, respectively. And both of them emerged victorious in the face of a sturdy challenge. I honestly believe this is going to be a great entertaining fight that will be highly competitive and that it will likely deserve legit demand for a rematch. As for who I believe will win, I tend to believe that Inoue will win the battle of footwork slightly more often than not, and while I think Fulton will prove to be innovative and resourceful whenever he finds himself pinned or cornered, I think the slight edge in footwork will prove difficult to overcome. Beyond that, I think Inoue tends to be more selective and less reactive with almost everything he does inside the ring. And I believe that, combined with slightly more effective footwork, will tip things in his favor. Fulton is, generally speaking, far less selective and more adaptive, and sooner or later, I think that will result in the type of mistake that Inoue will exploit and make him pay for. For my official prediction, I am taking the monster by 12 round unanimous decision. I think things will be fairly even by the halfway point, where Inoue clearly builds momentum in the second half of the fight. But I think Fulton has enough heart and determination, along with enough resourcefulness and cleverness, that he will see the final bell in a brave losing effort. So I like Inoue Naoya by 12 round unanimous decision, but then again, what the hell do I know? I ain't exactly Quasimodo over here, and my track record of fight predictions is certainly less than stellar. But whatever happens, I am most certainly fired up for this one, and may the best man win on that night. So who do you think will win the junior featherweight showdown between cool boy Steph and the monster? Please share your thoughts in the comments section. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful night. This is Rummy's Corner.
you know, Quasimodo predicted all this. 